I'd like to speak about what it means to turn to the source of things in oneself, source of all things. If we were Muslims, we might turn towards Mecca. But this place is not exactly a physical place. It is a place of origin. It's the headwaters of our soul, the place from which there is a flow of pure water of life, something pure and holy within us. In a time of meditation, a time of prayer, perhaps in some way a time of solitude, we can deliberately turn to that place Feel its purity, its holiness, its sacredness. Feel it as the source of our being. I've described it as the headwaters of our soul. When we return to that place or turn to that place, we tend to return to it. We tend to ascend in consciousness. Or we could look at it the other way, that we welcome that headwaters of our own being, of consciousness, to descend into us. But in any event, there's a joining, and we experience ourselves differently as that happens. I know for me, and perhaps for you, there are times of profound longing and desire to touch that reality, to know it, and then to having touched it and joined with it in some way to share it with the world in which I live, with people, to share something beyond human personality as alive and sparkling as all our personalities are. There's something beyond that. Do you ever have the desire to share that part of yourself with another person or other people? Like, no, I don't want to get mixed up in this or that or what's happening today or the latest kerfuffle or what's on the news. No, there's something deeper and far more profound. There's a reality that I touch and know, and I know you do too. And I long to be in that place where we could simply share that, where as best as I can, I express what comes from that place in my life and with other people and hope that they can feel that, resonate with that, perceive that. Hope, hope I can transcend factors of personality enough to be an instrument for the expression of that reality.